Hi, and welcome to Exploring Creativity, episode six. So today I wanna to talk about habits. Today marks the one year anniversary of my trying to turn myself from a night owl into a morning person by developing the habit of waking up early. Um, it's been semi-successful and Today is um, daylight saving time, and I want to to kind of re re give energy to the habit because it's something that I really want to do. Like what I realize is when I do wake up early and I start my day early, and by that I mean five or five thirty in the morning, my whole day goes better. I know that, but. I'm a nighttime person. I love late nights. I get really seduced by the energy of it and it's so hard for me to say, okay, it's nine o'clock, 9.30, time to shut down, time to go to sleep. Um, and so my habit over the year has waxed and waned and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And at some point during the year, I read um, Gretchen Rubin's book, Better Than Before, which I totally, totally recommend. I read it, like, shoomp, read it, read it, and it really resonated, and I need, I, I realize I need to revisit it, because, and, and, and I will talk about this again, because I find, part of what she says, which I found to be so true, is habits lighten up life. I mean, habits, you don't have to think about, you just do them. And that just leaves so much more brain space for other things that you want to do. You don't have to decide, am I going to, am I going to wake up and write this morning? It, no, it's, it's a habit. It, it is what I do. And the things that I turned into those kind of habits, I mean, it's just amazing. Like, actually, I do get up and I write every morning and I have other like morning rituals that I do and they're non-negotiable. That's that that's the word that I've come up with that really works for me. Like it's non-negotiable. It has not worked for waking up in the morning for some reason. I haven't figured it out yet. I think some of it is I haven't figured out how to make it fun. Like to me there's nothing fun about waking up early. Except that it makes my day go great. So I haven't quite figured out how to integrate that. Um, she says in the book that the average number of days that it takes to, um, to integrate a new habit is 66. But what that means, you know, is there's some people who are just like habit people, love them, do them, and are really like strict about it. And so, you know, for them it might take one or two days, and then there's others of us that she refers to as rebels. I'm pretty sure that I fall into that category where it could take, well, if there's some people who take one day and the average is 66, then there's others of us that are, you know, taking a long time. So, and then that's just something that I'm pondering. I'm throwing it out there for you all to think about as well. Like, what things, um, could really work well for you if you just made them a habit. You know, like, whatever it is, exercise, taking care of yourself different ways, or your art. When I don't make it a habit to get up every morning and write, and I also have a drawing exercise that I do every morning, when I don't do that, it just like goes all by the wayside. And like, it, it reminds me, I had a dog, not that I'm comparing myself to a dog, but whatever, it works for me. He, he had to sit at every corner. So every time we went for a walk, sit at the corner, cross the street, sit at the corner, cross the street. And about, I don't know, once a year or so, something would happen where we would have to get across the street really quickly and he did not have to sit. And he was just like, the next corner came, he's like, oh, I thought that we stopped doing that like way back when <laughs> and he was done with it he and 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 I feel like I, I I know that I also have that inside of me where it's um you know one morning it's like oh it's so much nicer to stay in bed I really really need that voice says I really really like in half an hour I'm gonna be so much more awake 
And so I, I go along with it and I do it. And the next morning it's like, oh yeah, remember, we're not doing that anymore. So I'm, um, I'm thinking about habits and I'm throwing it out there for you also to think about it, of how you can integrate habits to ease up your life and make the space for the things that you really wanna be doing. So there you go. Let me know below. Subscribe if you're on YouTube to the station. And if you're on the website, sign up for the newsletter so you get the, um, the videos sent to you. I'm really interested in a discussion about this, so any thoughts that you have on habits and how you form them and how you hold on to them, or what you even think about the idea of habits, um, I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. So have a good one, and I'll talk to you later.